Hello, everybody. Welcome to Grace Berry Beauties. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hello everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Review today. Hopefully this is going to be a treat. This is Thirsty Dog Brewing, and they're out of Akron, Ohio. This is their Rise of the Mayan Dog. And it is a, uh, it's a stout. And according to what the bottle has here, it says a chocolate honey stout. And it is a 7% alcohol by volume beer. Uh, I'll be using a 35 according to what the bottle says says here, celebrate the new rise of civilization with this bittersweet, big, bold, black beer filled with old world and traditional Mayan spices, including honey and cocoa nibs. So, uh, sounds tasty to me. Uh, I don't know if it's uh, got a date on the bottle. I didn't see anything on the label, but we'll take a closer look when we come back on the final jug and see if Thirsty Dog is dating their stuff, especially this bottle here. Uh, 7% is probably going to keep for a couple of years if you want to sell her this beer, but I don't think I'd want to keep it more than three to five years for a 7 percenter. Uh, so with that being said, uh, let's go over. Uh, the commercial description is exactly the same as what I just read off the back of the bottle. Uh, food pranks for this beer. It says here, it says that it is a stout. It goes well with your chocolate dishes. Cuisine is barbecue. The cheeses are buttery brie gouda, Havarti, Swiss, earthy, Camembert, Fontana. And the meat for this is beef, shellfish, smoked meat, game, and grilled meat. A glass of pint, Becker, and Onyx, Tumbler, Stug, Stug, Mug, Stein, or Seidel. I'm going to use the Sovereign Beer glass today, guys. And it says here, not recommended for extended salarings. And like I said, uh, for a seven percenter, I wouldn't want to keep this more than several several years. Probably want to drink this pretty quick. Uh, so hopefully there'll be a date on it when we come back and look at the bottle. It is sweating profusely and a lot of that stuff. I didn't see anything on the label, so if there's something digitized on the bottle, uh, it's very hard to see with a black stout beer in it. Uh, I'm not a big fan of that digitized code. Uh, a lot of the brewers go to the white or the yellow. Uh, digitize uh, writing on the bottle, which makes it a little easier to see when the beer is in it. But if you're stamping a black ink on a stout bottle, it's virtually impossible to see with the beer still in there, guys. So, not a big fan of that. Step up to the plate. Put it on the label. Do the right thing. Come on. It's 2015. What the hell's wrong with you? All right, let's get on with this one, guys. I'll give you the food pairings everything. So, let's get the cap off of this bad boy and see what Thirsty Dog Rise of the Mayan Dog brings. They have a very nice cap, a dog with a beer mug in there. Very nice. And this is a 12 ounce bottle. It's a small bottle. So we'll take a look at the beer site and see if it tells us where they date their stuff. If they date the bottles, or they date the case, or they date the truck, or they don't date at all. We'll take a look and see. With that aggressive pour, about a finger of head on that one, guys. And over to the light, it is pitch black. It is a very dark stout. Very good looking beer, though. Very, very good looking beer. Nice uh, khaki colored head. A lot of small bubbles around the outside and, and down and looking at the top of it, almost looks like yogurt. There are a little bit bigger bubbles from that aggressive pour, but fairly tight head. That's what she said. Let's get a nose on it, guys. Ah. Definitely getting the chocolate from the cocoa nibs. Nice, rich, roasted malt. Little bit of sweetness in there, maybe from the honey that they've used. Definitely getting some heavy sweetness, uh, whether from the honey or, or brown sugar or some molasses. Smells very good in the glass, guys. So, 
Let's get it to the lips. See what we got. Cheers, everybody. Mmm. Wonderful smelling beer. Very easy drinking. Very nice. Nice roasted malt chocolatey taste. Definitely getting the cocoa from the cocoa nibs. Brown sugar, molasses. Little hints of coffee and caramel. Coffee. Toffee. Maybe some hints of coffee in there. Let me hit it again. Very little bit of hints of coffee in there. Caramel. Very tasty. Very nice. I do like what Thirsty Dog does. Uh, like I said, I'm not sure, you know, since there is no dating on the label, I want to see that dating on the label. That is my ultimate goal, guys, to see these guys date the labels and not do some kind of black digitized ink uh, on a stout beer that you cannot see uh, or smudges off easily. Uh, on the label is where we need that to, to be printed, guys. We really do. Whether it's printed on the label as the label is printed or as the machine that's going to print that on the label somewhere uh, after the beer is put in the bottle. Either way, uh, you don't want to put black writing on a black label, but uh, a nice white digitized uh, month, day, and year, or just a year on this style of beer would be sufficient. So we'll know what vintage it is and, and if we're drinking a fresh beer. So we're going to leave it at that, guys. Uh, we're going to pour. Uh, a little not poor since it's only a 12 ounce bottle. We're going to let the other half take a sip or two or three, whatever she chooses to do, and uh, sip on it for just a tad and uh, let it come up to room temperature, as I always do, and see where this one ends up. Uh, right now, pretty damn tasty. Pretty damn tasty. Very, uh, very nice beer. Very well made. Not getting any alcohol at all. It's only 7% though, so very nice beer right now. So let's see where it ends up. I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. I just a little left here. Very tasty. Very nice. Very well-made beer. A nice transitional stout, if you will, being a 7 percenter. I'll be used on this for 35. I don't know if I told you that before. I, I think I did off the bottle here. Uh, it has no dating on the bottle, guys. Uh, going over to the, the beer list here for Thirsty Dog. And it says here, if I can get the tablet to work, today would be good. Doesn't have Thirsty Dog listed here. So, I have no idea whether they're dating the cases, the six packs, or where they're dating their beers, or, or if they're dating anything at all, guys. So, being a stout, it's going to keep for several years, but we'd like to have that as far as the vintage, so we'd know what year of beer we're drinking. Being a 7 percenter, you wouldn't want to drink this beer 10 years from now. Uh, so they need, to, they, need to, they need to step up to the plate, guys. I'm, I'm going to leave it at that because a lot of you guys are tired of hearing me talk about the dates, but I, that is my passion. Uh, I'm not going to be satisfied until all these guys date each individual bottle. On this style of beer, it needs a year, and on the IPAs, double IPAs, and low ABV beers, they need to have the month, day, and a year. Until they do that, you're going to hear me. And if you don't like hearing that, I suggest you watch somebody else. Like Chris at Beer Geek Nation, he does those five-minute beer reviews. Uh, a lot of these are uh, mine run a lot longer than that because I harp on the dates quite a bit. I do. And I'm going to continue to do it. So if you don't like that, watch somebody else. That's all I can tell you. Uh, this is a good beer. As far as I'm concerned, guys, this is an A beer in a B bottle. I don't check. Very nice. Nice roasted malt. Got the cocoa from the cocoa nibs. Nice caramel. Toffee. Maybe even some uh, candied sugar or even uh, brown sugar in there. 
molasses. Very nice. Very, very nice. And, I, and like I said earlier, uh, if it had a date on this, guys, I would probably give it the 8, which is an A minus. It has no dating whatsoever, so it gets a 7, which is a B plus. A beer and a B bottle. Bottom line. Uh, over to Beer Advocate, they say 85, which is in a very good range. If I was spending a numeric rating on this, it would probably be an 88 or an 89. And over to Rate Beer, Rate Beer says 91 overall and 90 in the style. So we're fairly close. If you average out the 91 and the 85, you're going to probably get a 87 somewhere in that area. And that's about where I'm going to put it, 87, 88. Uh, very nice beer, very well done beer. Just needs a date, guys. So, if you've had some Thirsty Dog, the Rise of the Mayan Dog, it's a honey stout. Let me know what you think. I enjoyed this one. We can just get these damn guys to put a date on the freaking bottles. It makes me want to pull my hair out sometimes. We can't get these guys to do that. Crazy world we live in, isn't it? Sure enough, it is. But if you've had it, let me know what you think, guys. And come on back tomorrow. Let's go see if we can find a damn beer in the fridge. It's got a damn date on it. Ah! Drives me crazy. See you then.